Have you ever wondered how to express anger in English? Well, don't worry. Today I will teach you how to express yourself naturally in English when you are angry. Welcome to Speak English with Tiffany. I am Teacher Tiffany and today we are going to learn the 8th secret to speaking English. How to express yourself in English when you are angry. This secret will improve your ability to speak clearly and logically in English. Are you ready? Well then, let's jump right in. Today we will learn one vocabulary word related to being angry, one expression related to being angry, and one idiom related to being angry. The vocabulary word we will learn to express being angry is irate. Irate. One more time. Irate. Irate means a feeling characterized by great anger. Three example sentences using this vocabulary word are Number one, the irate woman sped past the slow driver. The irate woman sped past the slow driver. Number two, she became irate after hearing the announcement. Again, she became irate after hearing the announcement. Number three, the cops tried to calm down the irate crowd. One more time, the cops tried to calm down the irate crowd. Next, we will look at an expression. The expression we will learn to express being angry is blow a fuse. Blow a fuse. One more time. Blow a fuse. Blow a fuse means to lose one's temper. Now, three example sentences using this expression are, number one, I am going to blow a fuse if that guy doesn't stop bothering me. Again, I am going to blow a fuse if that guy doesn't stop bothering me. Number two, my mom blew a fuse when she realized that I took money out of her purse. My mom blew a fuse when she realized that I took money out of her purse. And number three, her boyfriend keeps blowing a fuse because she doesn't answer his text messages. Again, her boyfriend keeps blowing a fuse because she doesn't answer his text messages. And finally, we will look at an idiom. The idiom we will learn to express being angry is be on a war path. Be on a war path. One more time. Be on a war path. Be on a war path means to be exceedingly angry and to be inclined to take some hostile action. Now, three example sentences using this idiom are, number one, he was on the warpath after discovering that his personal photos were published in the book. He was on the warpath after discovering that his personal photos were published in the book. Number two, my mom was on the warpath last night. Again, my mom was on the warpath last night. And finally, be careful, the principal has been on the warpath all afternoon. Again, be careful, the principal has been on the warpath all afternoon. Now that we know one vocabulary word, one expression, and one idiom related to being angry, let's look at an example question and answer it using what we have learned. Here's the question. What happened between your sister and that lady? The answer? My sister blew a fuse after the woman cut her off on the street. The woman was irate too, so they were both on a warpath. It was not a good situation. All right, amazing. 
Today, you learned the eighth secret to speaking English. How to express yourself in English when you are angry. We learned one new vocabulary word, irate, one new expression, blow a fuse, and one new idiom, be on a warpath. So, instead of just saying you feel angry, you will now be able to express yourself like a native speaker and use multiple natural expressions. Now, try to use at least one new vocabulary word, expression, or idiom today. You can do it. You can speak English. I hope this video helped to give you more confidence in your English ability. If you would like to receive English worksheets via email once a week that go along with these video lessons, click below and start getting your free worksheets in your inbox today. This has been Speak English with Tiffany. I am Teacher Tiffany and I hope that you have an amazing day. Until next time, remember to speak English. Remember to subscribe.